Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Maisie and I finished my specialization program in periodontology and implant dentistry at Bern University, Switzerland. And I am also EFP accredited. On today's video, I would like to show you a step-by-step -step aesthetic crown lengthening by gingivectomy. I hope you enjoy. So let's start. So here you can see I'm showing there are no pathological periodontal pocket and no bleeding on probing. Aesthetic crown lengthening by gingivectomy should always be performed after hygienic phase where there are no signs of inflammation in the gingiva. So our surgical procedure will go smoothly without any adverse effect. The x-ray presents horizontal bone loss, what leads us to the decision to go through gingivectomy without ostectomy. Here the keratinized gingiva is more than five millimeters, so we have sufficient keratinized gingiva that we can reduce. So with the probe, I am marking reference point where I would like later to trace with the blade. I'm using 15C blade that going intracircularly and then I'm going with my 15C blade in the way of scalloping uh, that make a cross in the area of the papilla, or the mid of the papilla, so it will create in the future a new papilla that will be sutured interproximally. Then I'm taking a sharp curette and I am taking out the tissue that I've just cut. In this picture, you will be able to see the difference between half side after I took the tissue and half side after, uh, before I took the tissue. Sharp curettes can always help taking out the tissue smoothly. I'm doing the same also on the palatal side. Intracircular incision, I marking the area reference point. And then I'm also going through a scalloping in that area. cross at the area of the interdental area. And I'm taking with my curettes, with sharp curettes, I'm taking out the tissues. I make sure that I uh, also to take out the tissue between the teeth. So I decided to remove the crowns so it will be easier for me later to suture and also to take out the interdental uh, gingiva. I'm making sure to take all the remnants uh, of the um, gingiva that remains over the roots. So after removing the crowns, it's easier for me to suture. 
I'm using a, a sling suture. Double sling suture. First, I'm suturing the central papilla. And then I'm going the same on each side. For the convenience of the patient, I am uh, putting the sutures uh, note in the palatal side. Uh, this is uh, this suture. It's a PGA suture from Resorba. It's uh, called also glycolon suture. It's 6 0, 13 millimeter needle. It's usually resorbed after um, about uh, one month. You can see it's transformed to transparent. Usually measurement after gingivectomy can be taken for final restoration after six weeks And last but not least, we're going to suture also the right side and also the area of the distal of the canine. Here I'm using a single note suture. After that, I am making sure to wash everything with saline solution. I'm showing you the scalloping, how nicely the gingiva looks. And I'm bringing back the temporary crowns. I'm cementing in here with Dualon. And I'm making sure that the Duralon will not touch the tissue. I'm cleaning all the remnants, all the cement remnants. And after that, I am, um, I am rubbing a hyaluronic acid on the area of the surgery for a better healing, for a faster healing. So here you can see the results. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoy. So have a great time and see you in my next video. Bye bye.